This is the plaintiff, Leon Hines. He says the defendant is his ex-girlfriend of four years, and they lived together. When they split up, things got pretty nasty between them. She threw out a lot of his expensive stuff, like his PlayStation, his clothes, and she can't be allowed to get away with her outrageous behavior. He's suing for $2,433.65, the amount he's owed. This is the defendant, Crystal Ann Johnson. She says the plaintiff was a freeloader who never paid a penny of her rent even though he lived with her. The guy was physically abusive. She had to go to the hospital because he injured her. And she tossed his stuff out because she couldn't stand the sight of his things in her house any longer. Bottom line, he owes her more than his junk is worth and she's not paying. She's accused of tossing it all away. All parties, please use your right hands. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case on the docket, the plaintiff says his ex-girlfriend, the defendant, uh, threw away, trashed uh, his PlayStation and clothes, and he wants money. Now, the defendant says that the guy was a freeloader who never paid his rent. He became physically abusive, and she owes him nothing. It's the case of it's all fun and games till someone gets trashed. Thank you, Douglas. You're welcome. All right, Mr. Hines. You are suing your former girlfriend, Ms. Johnson, for 20, almost $2,500 in items that she threw out that belonged to you, correct? Yes, that's correct. Okay. Um, tell me what happened between you two. Um, for a short period of time, things got out of the hand. How long did you date? We was dating for four years. In the beginning, everything was all smooth and everything. It always is. Then everything just went left and went downhill. I mean... I played the part in somewhat of me hitting her, but as far as things getting thrown away, she didn't have to do that. Did I you have to hit her? I didn't have to hit her neither, oh. and I take responsibilities for that. Uh, how but did you take responsibility? Were you ever prosecuted? I've been arrested for putting my Whatever, hands on What ended up happening with those arrests? Like, I went to court over and over. And did the anything ever got, happen? The case got thrown out. Because what? Because you didn't show up? No, I was never asked to show up. Okay. Um, when did you guys break up? We broke up not, not too long ago. What, when did, what month did you guys break up? Like in like September. Yeah. And when you broke up, did you move out? I've been moved out. Uh, just answer my question. Yes, did I you have. move out? Yeah. All right. So the stuff that she threw out, she threw out when? I don't know when she threw out. She just told me she threw all my belongings away. When did she tell you that? She texted me. I can't remember when. When did you text him that? After he blacked my eye. After he what? Blacked my eye, which was maybe the end of November. He gave you a black eye in the end of November? Yes. Okay, what happened? He came to my house to retrieve his mail, and I told him, give me a second. I had just came in from the supermarket. He didn't want to wait, so he just walked into my house. We started arguing back and forth. I asked him to just wait a second. I would go upstairs and get it. As I was talking to my kids, I turned around. He punched me in my face. Like in front of your kids? To and me. my grandmother. And your grandmother? Yes. My grandmother got in between, told him to stop. I went and got his mail. Then he went about his day. And you threw my mail in my face. Why was your door. stuff still there in November if you guys had split up in September? Can you listen to me? I've been yeah, trying no, to... No, I am listening to you. And I'm to... asking you the question, why is your stuff still there and in November been... if you split up in September? I've been trying to get my things from her ever since I left. And she's been beating around the bush telling me, oh, come this day, come that day. Like, I don't have I'm sorry, storage. you're there for your mail. Why aren't you there with a truck to get your stuff out in September when you guys break up like other people? You're still not getting me. No, I'm not getting you. I've been trying to get somebody to go with me to get my belongings. Yeah. I just can't go by myself and be like, you know what, give me my things. Yeah, yeah, people move every day. That happens. So why, why is it that in September, all of September, all of October, and November, you still haven't gotten that done? Why was his stuff still there? Because he never came to get it. I asked you to give me my stuff, so you can't stand there and lie like that. I don't understand, though. Like, everybody else manages to figure out how to get rid of his stuff or to him to get rid of the stuff. Or Why was it that his stuff wasn't out of there? Because I hadn't thrown it away yet. That's really it. That is the answer, that she hadn't thrown it away yet, because another woman would have thrown it away. So did you ever ask him, hey, when are you going to get your stuff? Did that ever come up? Yeah, I told him multiple times he could come get his stuff. No, did you? Okay, so are there ever any texts between the two of you about picking up the stuff? 
Because I, I read the text and I didn't see that. No. Okay. Do you say that there are any texts where you say to her, I'd like to pick up my stuff, and she deprives you of the opportunity? To be honest, I haven't texted her, but I've been calling her, reaching out. Okay, so there's things. no proof then that you tried to pick it up before now and she wouldn't let you. In no, fact, I see, what I do see are texts between you and what family members of yours is that? My mother and my aunt. And what did you... Your Honor, she over here bashed me, telling me to tell my mother to... Like, my mother is dead and gone. I don't play about my mother. Like, okay, I I'm don't. sorry. The only time I saw but, that phrase used was in your text to her mother. And she said, because she said it to me at first. So I said it back to her mother. Like, you're not going to disrespect me and think, think I'm not going to disrespect your whole family. I'm sorry. Did her mother disrespect you? It doesn't matter. It's her daughter. Her daughter has a dirty mouth. But yeah, I'm always the one getting arrested, getting in trouble for things that I did, and I could be held accountable, but she can't. How were you ever heard, held accountable? Did, w were you ever convicted on any of the cases that you were arrested on? How I've many been times arrested. was he arrested for domestic violence while with you? Maybe six times. And how is it you can't figure out how to speak to a prosecutor, go to court, and get him convicted? I was never asked to go to court. Okay, to, but to make listen, I was a domestic violence judge. I know how this goes down. Mm -hmm. How it goes down is you guys stay together, and then you just don't answer the phone calls. And then that's why it ends up getting dropped. You know it, I know it, he knows it. Everybody knows it, okay? So, you know, with all due respect, don't tell me it's the prosecutor's fault for not notifying you six times, because I'm not going to buy that. They may mess up. I work for a prosecutor's office. I know people can make mistakes, not six times. Six times, prosecutors didn't fail to notify you to come to court, okay? That didn't happen. So he gives you a, how did the black eye happen? Tell me what happened. We you were, told me he, in front of your children and in front of you, who else was there? My grandmother. He punches he you. He punched and, me and over a few days, my eye was swollen and then it became black. Ugh. What happened with this case? Did the police arrest him on this case? No. Did you call the police? I didn't call the police that day. Okay. Um, he's suing you for a PlayStation, PlayStation games, PlayStation accessories. Po I don't see why you don't take those with you when you leave. I mean, polo, sweatsuit, and Ralph Lauren clothing, T-shirts, boxer shorts, storage containers, bracelets, a Zales ring. What's that about? I was going to ask her to marry me. It was an engagement ring that I bought. I okay. left it there, it got thrown away. Now she's talking about she can't find none of my jewelry. Two iPads, black Ugg slippers, and a loan, and a partridge in a pear tree. The two iPads are what? One was a gift for no, my birthday. I'm gonna tell you for the last time, please stop screaming out whatever you feel at a moment. You're in court, go ahead. One was a gift for my birthday, and the second one we made up and I agreed to pay for the iPad. That's what I, we had an argument about. And he says, um, black slippers, you said? No, My so I, I'm not talking to you. I am talking to you. God. The two, what did you say? What'd you say? I didn't say nothing. I didn't think so. The two iPads, mm -hmm. one was a gift and the other one was a what? He bought it for you and you're supposed to pay him back? Is that what you were saying? He bought it for me and I was supposed to pay the monthly fees. And did you pay the monthly fees? No. Okay. And that one, why is it, a, like, do you have the evidence of $139? Yes, I, have I haven't asked my question. How dumb could you be that you think that's helpful to your case? And how helpful is it that you're asking her questions about something that I still make a payment on, that I went back? Okay, I'm trying to ask you to show me the proof of the payment so that you can be awarded it, and you're tisking and shaking your head at me. Do you think that that is helping your case, the way you're behaving? There you go. You can't even control your anger in a courtroom with a judge. I can imagine the peach you are in a relationship. Well, I don't have to imagine it. I can see it. Like, she, uh, she's never held accountable for her actions. They're not always going to consider me a bad guy. I can't imagine why. Welcome back to the People's Court. The plaintiff wants money for the items his ex-girlfriend trashed, but she says that he abandoned the stuff, so tough luck. Let's go back into the courtroom and find out who wins. So you're suing for $139.05 for two iPads? Mm-hmm. Okay. Black Ugg slippers. Yeah, I have those. 
You have those? After yeah. she lied and okay. said she threw it out. And what about, uh, what about the other stuff, like the Zales ring, the bracelets, the storage containers, the boxer shorts, the t-shirts? What ended up happening with all that all stuff? All that stuff went into the garbage. You threw everything else in the garbage? Yes. You kept the black Ugg slippers? Yes. OK, how come? Because I was wearing them. He gave okay. them to me. And then what's this about loans? Do you owe him any money? Yeah, he did recently um, lend me money. OK, how much money did he loan you? I'm not too sure the exact amount, but maybe like a little over $100. He says it's 120 think, Yeah, that sounds about and right. And so do you owe him that? Yes, I do. OK. And as far as the other stuff is concerned, I presume that your defense is that he abandoned it because he left in September and he should have taken his stuff with him. His clothing, yes. So do you ever tell him, hey, I'm putting all your stuff outside? Go ahead, or no, you were mad that he punched you in the eye. I did tell him I was throwing his things away. Oh, yeah, but did you tell him come get your stuff, it's on the corner, or you didn't want him coming back to your house? No, I didn't want him to come back to right. my house. Okay. How many times did he come to your house between September and November? Maybe four times. And on any of those times, did he ask for his stuff or take any of his stuff? No. I see in the text back and forth that he's asking for his W-2. Tell me, where's his W-2? Why didn't you just change your address, Mr. Hines, so the W-2 would go to your new address? The thing is, only one W-2 came to her, and the other one I got from our job. I met right, her. but the W-2 that goes to her, you know, it's from a job, so why didn't you just change your address with the job so it would go to you, I'm asking? Because I didn't have time. I'm too busy working. OK. Um, so do you have one of his W-2s? No, all his stuff was returned to sender. Returned to sender. So you would just, when things were addressed to him, you'd say return to sender. I would give it back to the mail person. Okay. She's lying. Here we go. Oh, it doesn't matter. Everything. You could get the W-2 from your employer again. That's, that's not even a big deal. Okay, well, she's admitted the $120, and so I'm going to order her to pay that back. Um, we're going to make arrangements for you to get your black Ugg slippers back uh, that do not involve him coming to where you are. And regarding the iPads, you're suing for $139.05 for two iPads. Uh, and one of them was a gift. Everybody acknowledges that. And one of them was not. So I'm going to order her to pay you $69.52, which is half of the two iPad amount. And that totals $189.52. Uh, and that is my verdict. Verdict for the plaintiff for $189.52. Because as far as I am concerned, the other 2000 something dollars worth of stuff is stuff that you should have taken with you at some point and you not between letting... September and November. And, you not and she's me got it, she can't just throw your stuff out in September because you don't pick it up right away because a person needs a chance to organize themselves and get a truck and somebody help you and all that. So she would never, the law would never allow her to just throw out all your stuff in September. It would make her keep it a reasonable time. Courts have found that a reasonable time is at most 30 days. You, September, October, November, and then you punch her out in front of her kids and her grandmother in November. Yeah, no, that's abandoned. $189.52, that you do have to pay. So the plaintiff gets a small fraction of what he was suing for. But he's probably lucky to get that. The defendant is on her way out of the courtroom. Ms. Johnson, I would assume you're glad this is all over. Am yeah. I right? Yeah, I'm glad. I just don't want to deal with him anymore. I can appreciate that. Have you learned anything from this whole experience? Yeah, know a person before you date him. Yeah. You gave him a lot of chances, though. Too many. Yeah. Well, good luck to you. Thank you. Okay, good time. enough. Thank you very much. And it looks like the uh, plaintiff has flown the coop. And uh, he is not here. So <laughs> I can understand that. And that'll wrap it up for this case then. Harvey, what are your thoughts? How about it? Okay, Doug, this case involves abandonment. Now, abandonment is a legal point that varies not only from state to state, in some cases from city to city. What you should do if this is an issue for you and you're in some dispute, go online, type in your city and the word abandonment and look for the law that governs. These laws do vary and it's important to know what law governs you. I went to a pet store to buy a male guinea pig because I already had a male at home and I don't want guinea pig babies. They sold me a male guinea pig. A few months later, I have baby guinea pigs because apparently what they sold me was a female and that second guinea pig got pregnant. Oh. 
Ah, so the question is, can you get your money back for the guinea pig? Well, I guess if what you were supposed to buy was a male and what they sold you was a female, right. yes, right. Right. you may have to I get back the guinea pig. Absolutely, you can get the cost of the guinea pig back. And probably from, return the guinea right. pig. But the more complicated question is the paternity lawsuit. <laughs> on paternity behalf lawsuit. of the new guinea pigs that you have to support You don't have to support. Give away oh, the yes, guinea pigs. Oh, yes, you do. Ah, Come on. Listen. What, kind, no, of, do, what do. kind of human being are you? <laughs> you gotta, Give away the guinea pigs. <laughs> you don't flush them. <laughs> okay, okay, don't flush them. That was a joke. But, but, I mean, but you, you do have to support those guinea pigs. You, no, they you don't. Give eat. them away. Give them away. You know, you, you have their college plan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you have to take care of them. So, you know, potentially, could I you I actually that? did have it. Do you remember when I had this case in Coral Gables? I had, right. um, I had... It was parrots. Parrots. I do remember when you parrots. were in county court as That's a judge. That's right. And, and the guy had bought the, these two parrots. One was a male and what was a female. And right. he wanted the two parrots right. because he wanted them to mate and he wanted to, to, right. to um, breed them. And the, the people who sold it to him said, one is a man with it, they've had plenty of babies. Right. And then it turns out one of them was a hermaphrodite parrot. Ah, and they okay. had never, hermaphrodites can't get, and they had never had a right. baby, and so they were lying. And ah. they were suing for the cost of the, of the right. parrots, wow. which they got. How do you sex a parrot? How do you Apparently, it, it isn't easy. You gotta, you gotta you get gotta in make there. Them hold still. You gotta, yeah, you gotta get in there. It's not like you look right. and and you're uh, done. You don't lift okay. a, a feather and, and gotcha. check. It's not like that. It's a little more complicated. Yeah, it's inside. Uh, so, okay. yeah. expert stuff. Yeah. Okay, we are out of time. Before we go, um, you can check out our podcast. You can check out our YouTube channel. Uh, you just can't get enough court these days. That's the way I see it. We'll see you next time.